Hey guys, what is going on today? Got a little bit of information for y'all that we just figured out here not too long ago. We believe we finally know exactly what the Skull reward that you get after you complete Ghost and Skulls 2 is for. Now, if you're still having some difficulties completing Ghost and Skulls 2 or some of the steps, I have a tutorial on my channel that you can go check out. I'll have it linked down below in the description. Just go check it out. It should help you tremendously get through any of the steps or any difficulties you are having. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, once you actually beat Ghosts and Skulls 2, there are two rewards that we know that you get. One is you get all the perks permanently. So even if you die and come back, you still get them. And then two, if you look in the bottom left by where your money total is, you have a skull icon directly above it. Now this skull token, we've not been 100% sure what it actually is meant to be used for, but we do know that in co-op, you can use it as your self-revive token, and we believe it gave you extra self-revive tokens. We're not sure if it's limited or unlimited. I know Glitching Queen, she was working on that, so hopefully she will be able to tell us for sure if she can confirm it. But one thing I can confirm right now is that in solo, we finally know the reward it does give you. Obviously, if you're in a solo game, self-revive tokens mean absolutely nothing. Simply, all you had to have was up in atoms and you would instantly come back. So, everyone was wondering, what is this skull token going to be used for in solo? Well, it actually gives you twice as many up in atoms that you can use for the whole game. Now, in the footage that I'm showing you right now, I bought one up in atoms before we completed Ghost and Skulls 2, and then afterwards, I was able to buy five more in the same game. So you get a total of six uses of up and atoms in your solo game once you have that skull token. Now, I was only able to repurchase up and atoms if I've removed perks that allowed me to buy a fifth perk. When I had all the perks, I was not able to actually repurchase up and atoms. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not, but at least at this current time, the only way I personally could re-get up and atoms was I had to remove perks to go back down to four so I could purchase the fifth one. Now, this solo reward is an interesting one. We've seen this type of reward before, whether it be from Treyarch, Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward, any Zombies developer. Usually, you know, the base game only allows for three self-revives in solo mode. But obviously, through Easter eggs, you were able to either get more or some type of method to bring you back to life. This one is different, though. Not only does it give you three more chances of bringing you back to life, but it's three more chances of bringing you back to life with every single perk on the map. That is quite game-changing, and it's different, and it adds a lot more value to even wanting to go out and do the Ghost and Skulls 2 easter egg every game but that is indeed what the reward is for completing the ghost and skulls 2 easter egg i'm glad that we were able to finally figure out something for this skull so if you enjoyed this if you liked what you learned if it makes you want to go out and do ghost and skulls 2 now to see this for yourself make sure to drop a like leave a comment let me know what you think do you think this is a good reward do you think it's worth it do you like what they're doing let me know but I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now!